Hello Temple, everyone. This is Brother Devin, aka Dr. Harmony. <coughs> and today, in this video, excuse me, today in this video, we're going to be discussing the power of feminine straight men. Look out tonight with Sekhmet and I for. Eastern monogamy coming tonight. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. That that's Wednesday. That's on Wednesday. So. <coughs> anyway. First things first. Before we get into uh, the power of feminine straight men, let me explain that there is two types of androgyny. The first type of and androgyny is the culture that recognizes that there are bisexuals on this planet. But in the spirit world, there is no such thing as bisexuals. There are, there are three types of... There are three types of specific... Sexual preferences. One is, one is, heterosexual. The, the second is, androgynous, aka bisexual, and the third, is homosexual. Now, everything, else, every every other sexual preference, like, pansexual. Androgynous heterosexual. These these are all. These are all. Ad additional preferences, that make up. The preferences. In, which we originally named. Now another thing is, that. The, f the first heterosexual African deity was known as Anpu. And Anp Anpu was very... Anpu was very metrosexual. Does this mean... He he was gay, no. It just meant that he was the type of god to always be consistent in his in his oral care, from from clipping his nails to washing and bathing himself perfectly to cleansing. And detoxifying his organs, and when the people of Egypt saw this, the the women became attracted to him. Now, the second thing I want to mention is that androgyny doesn't always have to be sexual and physical. It, it, it doesn't always have to be projected as that. Androgyny can be something of a mental and spiritual thing. Now, <coughs> me, or me on the other hand, and others who are like me, so I don't put myself in first person because I'm not a narcissist. Okay? Myself and others who are like minded like me. Um androgynous heterosexuality or spiritual heterosexuality isn't always about about sex for us. It's it's mainly it's mainly about 
<coughs> putting our faith in the things that we be- we believe in. The first being that we we answer to as comedic people is is Ra, okay? Who religious folks know as God. So, <coughs> just like all the other Egyptian gods, Ra is the first being we answer to. Okay? That is a part of our spiritual system. The being that we answer to is Ra. And coming in the near future, I will be doing videos on Ra as well as <coughs> meditation chant techniques as far as Ra. Okay? For, forgive me for the noise in the uh, background. That is my mother. And she's taking care of some business. So we're going to continue to get back to the video. Um, but, but our, but our power as straight, straight feminine men, our power lies in everything from the, the way we, the way we cook, the way we, the way we clean, the way we, uh, dress ourselves as far as our attire, the 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 way we per- protect women and <coughs> the and ma- mainly mainly the the mainly the 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 reason <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me so, sorry sorry family mainly the reason why feminine straight men exist is because you you may have had a you you may have had um mother who may have had a boyfriend and the boyfriend left the mother to tend to the child all by himself so without any male knowledge without any male security the male is spent most of the time being raised around his mother now if if the mother is either dominant or she she just might have some knowledge on how her son can be a man then she'll, she'll do everything her in her power to teach that man in her best ability to on how to be a man but mostly the reason why this straight man is feminine is because of 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 the way his his mother is able to teach him the things that she knows like as far as cooking, cleaning, being being a being a being a nurturer, uh, being extremely caring, being of service to others, so that right there is important. Being <coughs> having the power of a straight femme is also. Having faith in oneself. On our side of the Egyptian religion, having faith is not not only about believing, but it's also about ha- it's also about having a knowledge of self. Met, met, so in our case, metaphysics is very important. But 
of course, you don't you don't have to grasp the concept of metaphysics to be spiritual because spirituality in and of it, in and of itself is universal. So if you if you if you as a woman ever co- ever come across a straight femme or an androgynous heterosexual know that that man from from a lower level is going to always tend to you he 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 he's he, he's he's not he's not going to go both ways because that is a different that is a different culture different cultures lead to different things and it does not it does not make him gay either it just allows him to express the c- celestial and cosmic energy that his divine mother gave him from from birth the question is are you willing to accept that type of man because I'm just the first to be open about it. So I am the first openly straight femme to to ever teach about these things. If you want more information on this, just go to my previous videos where I talk I talk about BDSM and Eastern heterosexuality. Okay? So again <coughs> the the power of the the power of the straight fem lies w- with the straight feminine man knowing he has a knowledge of himself he is he is conscious self-conscious and subconscious about himself, his inner self, and everything surrounding him. He is the gatekeepers for the for the straight community. And also, we should remember that Not all straight beings get along with each other. There's cheating, infidelity, conflict. This is basically the the negative norm for straight people. But when it comes to the feminine straight people, their job is to change the whole narrative of the heterosexual culture basically to recreate their system within the system that was already placed okay and I'm going to be mentioning this again when I talk about eastern monogamy okay what I'm speaking about is just a sample. So again, our faith lies in God. Knowing knowing that we have God within us and it's also believing in ourselves. That, my friends and students, is the faith of the straight femme, and the androgynous heterosexual. So, to all my straight androgynous men out there, be the hawk of your sky. Be the change you want to see in the world. Until next time.
Hotepu.